Okay, this is a 2018 Escalade that we picked up. And uh, I'll tell you, it's a nice car. Things I like about it, don't like about it, just on quick notice. It has all the backup monitors. This is nice, you back away from it. That's kind of nice. It's got a lot of room, it's an ESV, so it's got a lot of room back here. I mean, a lot of room. And then you got these little buttons to flip the seat all the way flat, or you can just make it do it. Oh, I hit it the wrong way. Gotta hit it this way. Flip it down, flip it back up. And I didn't even flip it all the way down. I could have went further, you could do both of them. Back away, hit the little button up there. The door closes, but this car, it's a nice car. Now, one thing it does, when you're backing up, I'm also gonna show you how to program the remote, the garage door remote, I just had to figure that one out. When you're backing up to something, you're gonna hear this. It has uh, like a warning, it actually vibrates the seat, it scares you if these are on, these little parking things. Now let's get a little closer. I hear it, listen. Maybe let's do it again. I don't know if it's going to do it again. It did it that one time. There it goes. Did you hear that? And it gives you the little warning. So now I'll tell you, I like the car. It's got this cool thing here. This is a DVD player. It's also got two of them. One over there and another one back there. Third row seating. Here's all your sunroof stuff. It's just, it's a nice, nice truck. All right, now, oh wow, what's that up there? I didn't even see that up there. I haven't even figured out what this is yet. I got, that might be, that might have to do with vehicle ride or something. I'm not sure what that is. It has a picture of a car on it. I gotta look at it. See what I mean? I'm not used to it yet. Navigation is great. It works good. Uh, you could hit your home button and then you'll hit the navigation. And if you want to pick an address, you could do your destination and you type it in. It's pretty easy to do all that. Um, audio, it'll take you to your different modes, radio and stuff. This one, I want to figure out a better way to program it. So, you know, that's the thing. It's, it's you know, this is set up for what that guy listened to. I added the, uh, the, uh, the Sirius to it. So I just started loading them in. He had it before me. He's down here. He had it at one time. But it's nice, you can connect your phone that way, and you have your weather apps on there. You have interesting things, too. Actually, that wasn't even the weather app. That's another app down here, I think. That that was the weather app. Nope, nope, wait, there was a weather, here it is. The weather app, you could link it in to set that up. Now, with your dashboard, here's how your cruise control works. You hit this side, that activates a light on the dashboard. See that cruise light that comes on and off right there? And now, to set your speed, you press this down. And to actually accelerate, you go like that. Slow down, you go like that. To shut it off, you do that way. Then you have your the, the phone speaking. You can hang up the phone. Your heated steering wheel. It's nice. Volume in the stereo. You can bring that up. Lower it down. I can't keep the radio on because they'll shut down my YouTube video for copyright stuff. I hate that. Now, I started playing with this. I couldn't figure out how to get this set for how much instantaneous mileage you were getting. So I hit this and I found that if I brought this lever down, that's controlling up there, you hit enhanced and that kind of gives you a whole different dashboard. And now I got my average mileage was 16.1, you know, um, and that, that was kind of cool to see that stuff like that. But it's got a lot of different features in here. I don't even know all of them. This was cool. If you swipe your finger across the bottom, you got a little hidden compartment here. How cool is that? And it's big with a little charging port back there. And then you just swipe across it again and it closes. That's cool. I like that a lot. That, that's pretty cool. I like that thing. But all in all, I love the truck. Now, you also have this here. You hit this. That's your cup holder. And I think you just push this back. And that's more, two more USB ports. You have one in there, two more over there, cigarette lighter plug. And then you got in here, I don't wanna, in here, you got two more cigarette lighter, I mean, two more USBs there, and then another 12 volt plug. Back here, oh well, I hope I didn't stop the video. Nope, I didn't. I hope I'm not upside down now. See, that could be a problem. Did I pick up the phone upside down? Back here you have a rear heater and more USB plugs on the bottom. 
and uh, it's got rear heated seats and everything. Nice truck, I love it. Now to program your garage door opener. Now mine was already pre-programmed by someone else. So you hold the two outside buttons, you keep holding it, you'll see the little red house light up. Keep holding it until it starts flashing. When it starts flashing, you're clearing your codes. Then you hold that while simultaneously holding your remote that you want to program. And at that point, you could do that one side, then it starts flashing fast, you got, you got it, boom. Then you hit it again, then you do the other side when it starts flashing fast, boom, hit it again. Now you can see my garage doors. Now if I press the button, I guess I'm closing it now. Let's see, no, I'm opening that one. And I'm closing the other one. Let me hit this button. I'll bring that one back up. Okay, so, and uh, it is funny how this is set up. One side of this remote does both doors and one side does another. So I just programmed it that way. Now, but um, I do like the truck. I like it. Now, the other thing you have to do is come up here and you don't have to. You don't, I didn't have to. But if it doesn't recognize it, there's a little purple button up there. A little purple button on your garage opener. You hold that. When that button starts flashing, you run into your truck quickly and hit that remote button. And, and that light should stop flashing and then it'll program it. That's just in case you have one of those fancy garage door openers, it may not catch it. Mine actually caught it the first time. I was lucky with that. Probably because I took it from, uh, probably because I pulled it off of a remote that I already had programmed to it, so it liked it. So do me a favor, like and subscribe. You never know what you're gonna get in my videos. It could be how fast does an electric scooter go. It could be running an RZR. It could be a Hennessy Viper. It could be rebuilding an RM125. It could be working on a stereo stuff. You never know what you're going to get. So, all right, people. Thanks. Like and subscribe. Bye-bye.